Well, here I am in Media City in Manchester. It was a long train journey. Uh, drunk men got on. I think they'd been at the football. Not kids, like my age, older. So rowdy and proper disturbed me. But hey, it was it was a nice journey. Browsing my phone. I watched Dyson boxing video. And uh, yeah, I was in the competition zone, ready for tomorrow. So I'm just about to go into my hotel and I will see you in a moment. prizes that won well lucky couple but also very clever couple from Pembrokeshire have won over the last few years yeah Cassie and Lee Minnan have entered 50 competitions every day since 2021 uh, managed to bag themselves nearly 80,000 pounds worth of prizes so how do they do it let's find out Cassie is with us now morning good morning nice to see you <laughs> right so start at the beginning uh, you enter a lot of competitions, but these aren't just, you don't just fill in your name and you, you send off a form or buy a ticket, do you? You have to do something for the ones you enter. Yeah, I tend to buy products that have competitions on them, or I make a little video or write something or take a photo. They're called effort competitions because okay. you have to go to some effort to be able to enter. And because there's effort, does that reduce the number of people who apply? Is yes, that the trick? Yes, yes. Because it's not just click and retweet or click and share. You actually have to go to some trouble. So not so many people would be doing that. Right. And this all started a few years ago in memory of your daughter who died over 20 years ago yes, now, Abigail, yes. when she was very young. And this time of year is very special to you. Explain why. Well, Abigail was only 22 months. She had a brain tumour and sadly she passed away at Easter. Now, because it was Easter, daffodils were everywhere. they the only flower she knew the name of and they really remind me of her. We filled her funeral with daffodils, hundreds of daffodils. And about three years ago, I was just browsing on social media, as you do, and I saw a competition with Henrika Jewellery to win daffodils. And I thought, oh, that would be really nice, daffodil jewellery. So I thought, oh, I'll enter. I'd never entered a competition ever before. I only knew one person who ever had, which was my younger uh, sister. <laughs> is this it? Yeah, well, the urines. Yeah, are, yeah, yeah. the urines. And um, I tagged my sister in the competition. And lo and behold, St David's Day, March the 1st, I get a message you've won the daffodil jewellery. <laughs> and I just felt it was meant to be. Yeah. Who else should they have come to but me, really? <laughs> so I had a bit of a curiosity then. I thought, well, that was quite easy. So about six weeks later, I won an, an uh, Xbox on Twitter. <laughs> and at that time, you couldn't get an Xbox anywhere. So my, my adult kids were all delighted, <laughs> you know? So it just sort of grew from there, really. And you say it grew from there. You've won some incredible stuff. We, we have won some really good stuff. Um, my favourite, uh, well, the, the favourite one that Lee won, he won us a trip to Corona Island off the coast of Colombia, wow. Cartagena, which was absolutely wonderful. A private island, only 20 people at a time allowed on it, 20 tourists. So that was wonderful. And then my favourite prize that I won was a trip to Norway. And this um, is you in Norway, Norway, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's me in Norway, yeah. So, um... And you've sort of discovered the Compa community. So these are people who devote a lot of time and energy into entering these kinds of competitions. But what I don't get is, Kazi, you've got several businesses 
You also work as an independent, independent social worker. You've got so much going on in your life. How do you have time for it all? I don't sleep much. I'm a very <laughs> early riser. So by 6.30, I'm usually sitting at my PC with a cup of coffee. Wow. And I make my entries. And then by half eight, it's all put away and I get on with my daily so life. So you, you hit it early in the morning. You yeah. do it all, bang, done. And yeah. then see what comes back. Yeah. And, and you know, you, it's, not, it's not as easy as I make it sound, no. obviously. Mm -hmm. I... I don't win everything. I, you know, there so what's are a your lot. Hit you rate? Have you worked it out as to how many you end? I haven't, in? but if I'm doing thirty or fifty a day and I'm winning less than three hundred and sixty-five a year, yeah. then it's, yeah, it's gives you not an idea. that great. Yeah. What's your secret? What's the trick? Do you think to to a good entry? So I think um, the, the trick is that you have a community of people around you. That's the main thing, really. And also that you've got a passion for something you want to enter. Like the trip to visit Norway. I did a video entry. I did an essay on it. I had a Zoom interview. I worked hard to, to get that place, yep. you know? So if you've got a passion and you really want something, you know, then you'll put a bit more effort into it. Then well, I really admire it, because I say it's not lucky, it's effort, it's creativity. Yeah. And um, what, what would you really like to win? Have you got your eyes on a prize at the moment? Oh, do you know what? My biggest fan is my great nephew, Joshua. He's nine years old and he's obsessed with trains. So what I would love to win is a, a special train trip for him or something to do with trains. Fingers love crossed it. that'll happen in Fingers the future. Crossed. Good luck yeah, with it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for so coming nice in. to see you. Thank you. Um, happy Easter.